everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-September readings for all zodiac signs. Keep in mind that they are general readings, so take what applies and leave the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with moi, all the info is in the box below. So, this reading is going to be for Taurus. Let's see what's shaking in mid-September for you. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Taurus. Somebody's got their eye on you. At the bottom of the deck, you get the Ten of Swords. Tens, Taurus, at the end of a cycle. You know how I feel about this card. I am so done with you. Deuces. It's the end, Taurus, of feeling backstabbed and feeling betrayed. Okay? Dunsky. So let's see how that applies here. Seems to me that you are turning a new page. A new chapter in your life. And I think that is absolutely awesome. So we are going to start off with the King of Cups. Now here's your Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these properties. He wears his heart on his sleeve, but you would never know that because he keeps himself well balanced. They're very intuitive people. And what's crossing you to help or hinder Mm-hmm. You get the spy card. Now, unlike the queen, and unlike the king of swords, or actually the knight of swords, they all come in with their swords up. Him? He comes in with a sword down. Take a look around. Not saying much. Not delivering a message. And this is what's crossing to help or hinder you. Seems to me, Taurus, that Somebody's got their eye on you. Possibly you got your eye on them. Hmm. Now, in your foundation, you have the hermit. And the hermit is the seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to get his, whatever he needs to know. He gets it himself. That way he knows it to be true. It could be in isolation, seclusion. Taurus, maybe you've been incognito for a while. And that's about to change. Maybe you've been hurt. You know, deceived by somebody. How oh, funny. Right under this, you get that fire sign. The King of Wands, the Aries, the Leo, Sag, or somebody who takes on those properties. Just saying. But it's time for you to come out. It's time, Taurus, for you to be you, that shining star. Now, what's crowning your whole reading here is the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Six of Swords. This is moving away to calmer waters. Leaving a situation behind, Taurus. Leaving this behind. Putting it in the rear view where it belongs. Moving forward, Taurus. Moving forward. Now, in your recent past, there's that fire sign again. You get the Knight of Wands. Or somebody who takes on the properties. But more so, Taurus, this is somebody who brings a message. A message to take a course of action. I think your course of action here, Taurus, is move forward. Come out of being alone, secluded. Now going into your future, we've got the Four of Pentacles. And a lot of people say it's the Miser card. I see this card as keeping something to yourself. He's guarding these last four pentacles that he has, okay, 
against his chest, like guarding his feelings. It's like nobody gets these. Not this time. So I see that these two do go hand in hand together, especially towards if you have been alone or isolated, if you took a retreat. You're keeping things to yourself. Now, how people see you in your environment, Taurus. They see you as the Eight of Swords. This is a self-imposed prison in your mind. Taurus, you put yourself there. Take one sword and turn it into a positive. The rest fall. And that blindfold comes off, Taurus. Now, people are seeing you like this, you know, and it makes sense. To me, it makes sense. Closed off. Staying in your mind. Not being sociable. Keeping things to yourself. But Taurus, 8, 10, Dunsky. You gotta move forward. Push forward. Because Taurus, better things are coming for you. <laughs> yes, they are. In your environment. Get to go, Taurus. You get the Ace of Cups. And this is the universe's way of giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. Taurus, this is brand new love. Brand new. And it's around you. So, Taurus, he gets to come out. He gets to come out of this mindset. You get something brand new waiting for you. Come on out, Taurus. Come on out. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, you get the Knight of Cups. You got Taurus. You got brand new love. You got a messenger of something that's Heartfelt, sentimental, nobody fears getting a message from someone's heart. And let's keep in mind, Taurus, somebody with these properties has their eye on you. Whoops. Oh, they watching. Seems to me, Taurus, that somebody's being very patient while you get over this past hurt, this past betrayal. <clears throat> somebody's waiting for you to be better in your heart, better in your mind, and getting this past you. Taurus, take it as a learning curve. If this is a past relationship, <clears throat> friendship, career, ship, any ship, okay, take it as a learning curve. Everything happens for a reason. Whether people come into your life to teach you a lesson. And now, let's see if you learn the lesson. Taurus, you got something great. You really do. And your outcome card. Booyah. The Empress. The female alchemist. Queen of all queens. She doesn't rule a kingdom. She rules an empire. Taurus, this is you. Also depicted as a Taurus or a Libra. She is a creator. She makes things happen for herself. Like the female Magician. She can take an idea and birth it into the here and now. She can take something and bring it into this realm, this reality. Taurus, that chick, okay, is on top of her game. Okay, could be for a dude too. But the whole point of it is being back in your power, being back in your element, and being this person that creates and makes things happen for themselves. Because Taurus, 
You know that you can. And I think you will. So, that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I will see everybody back here real soon. Take care.